all up there as well. Rez gonna try and find first blood. In fact, a nice first kill. Zori, quick response at large though. Hampus though on the flip side gonna find one. In fact, Nork there to support and the bomb has been mollied off a team molly in fact, but X7 is gonna find himself a chance, an opportunity, but a second kill to X7's name. A fair bit, but still well within the equation to take their first. Absolutely. Bomb being planted, but ZTR not going to hold back. As you said, this youngster is absolutely insane. Plopsky joins in as well. Nice little crossfire setup there for X. Do head in into this. Trickling in, though, onto Connect. As Slowly is able to find one with the pistols. <gasps> X7 as well. Maybe this is doable from the Harris side. Slowly down to four. ZTR joining in on the fray as they look to push through mid, but that's the B-site control. That's where they want to take it. ZTR's footsteps have been noticed. Nork coming in for the rotations as well, but the bomb will take some time until it gets there. But oh my word, Nork, oh, he had no idea. He just walked by. He's going to wait for it. But 15 seconds remaining, the bomb will get planted. And have we in a 1v3 have done exactly what they would have wanted with the numbers advantage, with two rifles now picked up. And Nork... I mean, he's got an AUG, but what can you do against three players? Slowly with the M4, has the right lineup, and... He's caught in the angle, they're spamming him. They think by now he would have died, but in fact, he pushes on forward, aerial. Ooh. Beautiful shot. The head torn away. So, if you that Rez is holding down jungle, a little bit of a peak could be a little bit of a detriment to them. Nork is able to find that frag. Rez as well with two, and then IP have turned it right back in their favor. Zori and Slowly now both are alive for the Howard side, but that's not going to last too long here from Slowly. Zori tries his luck, but he gets pincered in. Plops the leg and a missed shot. Giving away his position, and furthermore, Hampus now needs to go huge. Spots out the first head aerial. Torn out of the round and cut, which means their next push with utility has to be the engagement if they want to work with smokes. Oh, nice little shot there from Slurry. A little bit cheeky there as well. Distractions being created onto the B site does keep them lured to that position as well. Down at Sandwich, a little bit of a trade does come through. Galil wins it over UMP. That's going to be the bomb plant though. Nork through the bomb, not going to show his position just yet. He'll wait for the peak. Okay, Slowey, turning up the wall hacks. Hampus does reposition, not quite sure if he's been spotted out, but now he has. Slowey finds that kill. Nork at the same time finds three of his own, because why not? NIP showing they can do damage. A 3k for him in the last. Can he replicate the same success? No, he cannot, because Ariel's dunked him alongside the grenade. Max away and Slowey going to engage, possibly try and get on through the smoke as well. This could be a big play. Oh my Ooh. God, Kropsky. Good for one, but big damage onto another two. Leaves Hampus in a great position to find one. Zori up close. Sem4 doing lightning work here. As ZTR going to chime in with it as an eagle. And it seems to be Harvu relegated out of pole position as NIP looking strong. They do indeed. In the smoke story, it does get shut down in the end. That is going to be the round here from NIP. Red's finding the final frag. Surviving with three players, NIP. Nine, NIP up by four in the grenade. Is a very good one at that. Aerial down to 44. The peak is imminent. And Rez to draw first blood. And he'll continue to apply pressure. Zori do being the man down. Rez on low HP, however, could be yet another detriment. And with 20 seconds, Harvu secure themselves a plant. So it's a cash injection they're willing to take should they lose this one. But right now, it is NIP up for the retake. Four players towards CT. Flashbangs go high. They're all four players charging on our Hampus. It's going to be caught out towards middle. So information gathered about X7's location. Zori with another and slowly towards connector. It's crumbling. Helm detonates. Harvu finds three. And they're most certainly going to be chuffed about that result because it's one step closer to leveling things out against them. Could be beautifully done as well. Slowy, he won't expect this whatsoever. He's going to peek the wrong angle. Beautiful first. And ZTR nearly with a second. But damage has been done. And Rez, the cleanup crew inbound towards no the Bomb dropped. Three players gone. Nought to tally it to four. And you best believe NIP have found seven. What a perfect round. And that's... Them. Play aggressive onto the B site as needs to follow through. Trickling in. Plotsky there to hold down the ground. Nork and Rez, though, have got a shooting gallery here in market. Plotsky with three. Jemmy on site is the last one of four with that they can work with. Maybe that nine to six would be the best that they can get at this point. But with losing that early frag from Z Nork already, Zore has to fall down. No aggression to be double backed on that. Harvu still sticking around to A ramp and Tetris, but a lot going on here in tunnels with Hampus looking it out. Still, Harvu does push onto the A site either way. Already on site, Jemmy is able to find that kill. Nork down already, and they are blocked out of sight. A nice little smoke there does allow ZTR to push through, but Rez is able to find that first frag onto Jemmy. Harvu, do get themselves the bomb plant here, but X7, look at the rotation. I don't think the drop has been heard. He will be able to get a frag. No, 
holds on to his trigger and will be able to find the flank onto short. The bomb has been planted for Catwalk either way. As soon as Ariel does speak out, he's a good for one. Push coming in through. Ariel with a second. X7 finds the last one from behind. Nice push there from Harvey. So what's Harvey's next move is? Please indeed. Star from Info. Nice little peek there from Zori. Opening things up here on this map. X7 though. We'll look to go aggressive here. Goes for a little bit of a drop. MP9 has a short angle. Long distance there from Rez coming in from short. Getting the trade through. But it looks like Havu have their sights on the, the A site. Only a couple of players holding it down from NIP. CTR from CT gets caught off guard. Doesn't matter. He does find the two frags in the end. Oh, my word. Hampus. Now he's a little so close to Zori pushing up through the smoke. He knows what's going on. Ooh, oh, he's able to find Jemmy as well. Unspotted. Unscathed. Hampus with four this round. Just waiting for his chance. That flashbang, good. But oh, caught with a smoke out, and that's cost him his life. Hampus. Oh, I was going to say good for a kill. But Havu. Wreaking havoc towards a nice shot from Nort to try and level things out slightly. A three versus two. The no scope up close working to great effectiveness. As the push might be inbound. Ariel already up close. The nade just going to chunk a bit of damage away from Ariel. Down to 77. Nork is going to try and push out towards Connector and his teammates there to assist as well. NIP, it's a do or die moment. Being, being the last round of the half, they've got to oppress and go for this. There's no point saving Popsky going to be leading the charge and so a first kill will be obtained nork missed shot and that might just cost him his life oh my god nork what was that shot what first one to greet him but he is going to fall back allowing them to get the full push onto the site getting the bomb plant it is going to be a five versus five for the retake x7 finding that first frag coming into it but they're going to take slow on the rotations here doubling back on this plopski does peek it through a little bit fine. The first frags. Nork and Plopsky both finding one apiece. NIP on site have the numbers right now. Have the positioning. They can just hold it down and wait for Harvard to push through. Rez not exactly pointing on the pieces there. Plopsky and Nork join in for the last sizes for NIP to tee off the twelfth as we speak. But as time ticks away, it becomes a little more harsh for them. And when Slowy finds the first onto Rez, NIP, they've got some thinking to do in the short push inbound. Slowy to try and hold things down. Beautiful tag, Plopsky to low HP. And in fact, they are going to push on forward. Slow, he's caught off another. Desert Eagle to Jenny, good for one. But the trade from Nork leaves them in a two versus three. Amazing stuff. CTR find that last headshot there, but it's down to 2v2. Bomb being planted. Rotation coming in from Catwalk as well from Ariel. UMP in that long distance. Spray down in the end, find CTR. And it's all up to New York now with the Galil hiding it out. Oh, now they know where he is. Peeks through. Does quite a bit of damage. Re-peeks the second corner. Finds one to kill onto Ariel. It was a headshot to do it. Peeks again. Aggressive movement. Draws out the pistol. Doesn't Ooh. find the shot. X7 is the one to do it. Oh my word. Draws out the pistol. Finds the kill. Plenty of time to defuse. No kit required either. And that's going to be Havu on the board straight out of the bat. Beautifully done. Unsuccessful. And NIP actually making all the way down towards bottom. Connector! Hampus just one-tapping Zori. Slowly gonna try and drop the Molotov in response. Rez could try and catch him out as the smoke phase, and he'll do exactly that. There's a second kill found, and Harvu. And Harvu the left, and a little bit of a pickle pincer in, though. Look at the rotation. Plopsky will push through the apartments. Knows where Jemmy is. Makes a lot of noise, Hampus. And it's gonna be simple. They had no idea he was there, and it's all up to Ariel now. On the wrong side of the map, in... CT looking to push through market, but it's five nine remaining here for NIP, looking very strong for them. Rounds between themselves and their opponents, and that four round difference is a little bit pressuring, especially considering the fact that NIP are closer to that. It is all about timing. NIP's approach has to be clinical, and it is going to be res that dome Zori a second and a window in chicken's nest, but NIP. Looks like they might have a good push through if they get in fast. Ariel does get a frag in mid, and that means that Hampus knows what's going on with Ariel. He's able to punish that one through, but surely NIP will trickle in. Slowly holding down the line, he's able to find one. Now peeking through, not able to do too much there. Down to 33, sprayed down through the box. If that will mean the bomb plant surely will come through. Rotation from Jemmy, though. Look at the forward pushing that. Jemmy and X7 both are on this fast, but ZTR not going to permit that anytime soon. Finding that headshot. Setting up a 14th off the back of that one because not only, of course, a Harvu depleted in terms of money, it's going to be the confidence over the fast A smokes inbound. 
And NIP looking to explode out towards A. Aerial good for one. A second bomb drops as well. This UMP doing all the work right now as Res good for one. The trade is found. And the spam on through could be the end of NIP's time in this one as Res swings wide and spots out three. AWP tagged and now it's Hampus that needs to go huge as he's alone against three. Good for one. A second could be found as well, but plenty of time to work around. And the bomb planted for short Hampus teeing himself up quite nicely and actually even though disadvantage in hand through but NIP need to be fast bomb is taking Zori already on site getting the spray down the barrel of the weapon of Hampus was shown and Zori's able to do it diffuse kit at hand that should be it it's going to be close but they've got it no problem whatsoever Havu with the knights keep can he find a kill Rez oh that's a missed shot and Zori needs Ooh. to return fire for Rez Big damage in top and find themselves a 14, but with 25 seconds to go, they need to find this kill. ZTR needs to be quick with a trade, and that he is. It was a definite one for one that Jemmy found, but he needed to go huge and he couldn't get anything done. Res peeking up, perfect timing, Slubby no more. And as the bomb's set in stone, NIP teeing up the ball. Even if ZTR loses, he knows he'll get a comfortable drop, but NIP not taking too much chances, not committing everyone to the chase, although. Yeah, Ariel reads that one through, footsteps heard, but yeah, one frag to devastating position economically, and they cannot afford to be in that. It's do or die for them right now with the aggression coming in from X7. Rez, beautiful first kill, NIP. Will they expect the aggression that Jemmy has taken? Though ZTR up close as he clears it, he will not check the close corner. And to try and shut down Ariel completely, but no. He's gonna go to the wrong place. He's gonna go palace instead of ramp. Plopsy good for one, however. And so they'll be very aware of the flank, quite possibly. Oh, though. Look at this, Ariel coming in. He may be able to spot a couple of players here in dark. Oh, it's going to be tough. Not much time remaining. Add a numbers of advantage. How they were going for this either way. Ooh, spot oh, spots out, Plopsky. What a shot, though. Delete. They will have nothing apart from what they have so far. It's not looking great. NIP could cry for is going to be the one on Jemmy saving it out from the previous, but it's going to be difficult. Is she going to have thrown out early? Looking to close up the gap here with the U SMGs. So do we get a little bit more effectiveness out of them? One for one trade from the start. So if Harvey were able to get themselves a rifle out of that, it wouldn't be too bad of a D. The res coming in from mid. Popsky knows what's going on. Zori on the flank, caught off guard. And just like that, NIP find themselves in a 4v2. Ariel now trying his luck. Tetris push. ZTR finds a headshot. Jemmy all by himself. He's going to be able to find one, but a 1v3 flash gets drawn out. 25 pieces of health. Wall tries luck from jungle, but the bomb being planted, this is not going to be easy at all. He needs nothing less than a miracle here. And as he presses on towards CT, it's Plopsky to deliver that pick, and Harvey starting on the CT side. Their chance for vengeance is now, and Hampus already finding a first on, so Jamie leaves them the man down immediately. Not even... 20 seconds in and we've lost a first man and a second as Hampus does not stop there towards B. Ariel good for a kill onto ZTR, but in fact, a seven and Zori to find one of these things into behind Zori from heaven. But the bomb hasn't been planted yet. No, a nice little peek there from Zori. Nice little one tap headshot there. On yeah, have they're playing time. They're playing with NIP's feelings right now. Not going for the plant. X7 peaks just at that time and they their way through towards connector Ariel. Might just be the first man to fall, Plopsky. Oh my god, doesn't catch him completely. ZTR caught completely off guard as well. And Harvu. The CT side, it is an IP's map. So it's the fact the fact that Harvu have got a strong start from the get-go really does favor in that much. Nork though, he's able to catch Jeremy off guard as he peeks off wide. The AWP will be able to get that long distance kill underway. Slurry repositions in Toxic. A little bit of a lineup set up. Smoke from short, but it's... Uh, Main that NIP are looking to push through, find a frag, potentially X7 peaks through, headshot found slowly as well, joins as well. But it's all up to Nook, 1v4, really not much he can do it. She grenade thrown down to 40, desperately looking for a frag, finds one, but that's going to be it. Harvu with a 4 0 start. Oh, the NIP don't find themselves greatly in the lead, and slowly, I mean, it's a good amount of damage, but a two for one with this Jemmy coming up close in person with the MP7, the shortest ranged weapon of his team currently. X7 though with the AUG scopes in. He's able to find one, but the smoke is down to allow the bomb to get down as well. Zori 
Oh, he finds a shot onto ZTR, down to 10 HP. Pistol shot should do it. But that allows X7 to push up aggressively. Plopsky joins in as well. But Zori will be ready for that. Yes, he will. Finds a frag all of a sudden. This is becoming dangerous for the NIP side. Our res, though. He's getting that one. Zori, though, he's with the AWP as well. He can match this aggression. Peeks out. It's not going to take some time wrapping around Monster. Oh, oh, Zori! What a shot! Absolutely out of his mind with time to spare on the defuse. Harvu, do not let... The timing. He won't expect three people here. Oh, but no. it's just not his well. his life. That's poor. Rez, good for one. But here we go. Plopsky. Deleting his teammates, ZTR removed from the round, and even he gets shut down completely. A three versus three scenario. Utility thrown out, X7. Looking for his chance, and he'll be given that res. And oh my word, is this becoming even spicier than it already was. Oh, but the wraparound here from Slowy, he's able to catch Nork off guard. Finding that frag does get him back in game, but Hampus is in a 1v3, getting wrapped up around behind as well. He's able to find Jemmy, but needs to be careful. Not quite wary of X7's position. Harvey continuing. But they need to take this gradual approach to it. They can't look at the grand scheme of things, saying that Harvey's so far ahead. But their lineup here is good for Slowy already. Molly drawn out is able to trade that one out as Plotsky's flames to give him a little bit of barbecue. Aggression, though, from Hampus does find that one frag for Jemmy. Maybe favorable for Ooh. NIP right now. Not finding Ooh, one. Rez with another. So NIP have their sights on A, and that's where they're going to be able to get the bomb planted down. X7 is able to spot one player down, but not for long. NIP make it work later on, but they're lining up towards A long, both of them. Zori, though, he's got a good lineup here. Oh, okay, Hampus. That was very long range, but finds a headshot. All of a sudden, they may be able to do this. X7, though, he's able to come back in time from dumps to find a frag and help out onto the A site. Three man strong now for the defense. Ariel doesn't fall back from A long and he's able to hold it down, continuing to devour one by one. ZTR and Plopsky also join in on the fray. ZTR not quite able to find a spray down onto the second. Slowy and Jemmy join in as well. The chimes, they come through. Nork with two. It's control obtained, but Harvey. We've got other plans as four players making their way up towards short. The door swing open. Plopsky needs to have a field day, but Ariel's found two. And all of a sudden, it's a scary prospect. No idea whatsoever, but it's just too far to find the right angle onto the headshot. And that does mean he's just going to cause some commotion as they do trickle in, as they do find the frags. Ariel able to return in time, but Hampus is devouring them one by one. Down to 2v2, actually. Harvey still are in this. Ariel right through the smoke. A little bit of a gap through it. He's able to spot him out. Nork from behind, though. Oh, misses the no-scope. Oh, that's dreadful. Oh, draws out the bomb, but that's not going to be what you want to get the... Good for him. Oh. Sorry, he's got the right idea there. He's able to spot out Plopsky. But an IP taking it towards the B site. Harvey with the numbers advantage may be able to get themselves the right rotations in, but there's only two people currently holding down the B site. NIP are going to go for a fast push. They might find the right opportunity to get themselves in. Spray down coming through the smoke. ZTR finding a better angle through that. Jemmy, not much he can do. Shut down by ZTR once more with that Galil. Absolutely ruthless. Zori from above now tries to chime in with a bullet or two. This will not be possible. It's gonna look tough, but slowly. He'll ease up ahead slowly, but surely. Too many gaps for him to handle. Too many positions from the NIP side. They are holding it down one by one, devouring them. Havu, nothing they can do. I reckon they're gonna fall back. Zori missing on that shot as well. NIP, they're chiming in for a third. A little bit of an exit fraud brought up here from Slowy, but that's gonna be that. NIP into the game still, not running out of rounds. Third. He's taking some immediate damage in the AK of Hampus. Gonna try and tickle him down even more, and it will be the AK of Nort to open things up. The B bomb site left exposed. Is, oh, ZTR. Good for another, and even Dinks X7 down to 20 as he tries to make his way around the side of the smoke. Hampus to find them through. Rest with another, and a flawless start to NIP as it's just slowly remaining, and the AWP left with nothing but saving on his mind as it's a fourth for NIP, and finally, we see their dominating form return. IP sitting up, stretching out, stretching out their arms and cracking their backs because they have just woken up. Nice little round for them. It's going to be flawless as well if they don't lose another play, although Slurby may meet heads with no, no, it's Popsy. He gets the shutdown. But yeah, NIP, as you mentioned previously, Retro, right? The, the fact that NIP are at this point does mean that they need to keep on winning these rounds. Finding the AWP as well does mean... I'm not going to matter too much, though. As NIP 
are chiming in to the left side, to the right side on that, if I may. Hampus with a nice little pick there, but Jemmy, oh, he needs to be careful lining up. Spray coming through, Rez finds the refrag. Coming in from behind, X7 as well. Hampus need to be careful, he can hear the footsteps, so he's able to find the frag, and all of a sudden needs to look behind once more. Aerial down to seven, but NIP find themselves onto site. Rotation coming in from Zore, but it's not going to be soon enough. NIP three versus two coming into this one, and with not much util remaining here onto the Harbu side, there's not much he can do. Nice little frag there from Nork. That's probably going to do it. Zore in a very tough feat against him. Know exactly where he is. Not finding the headshot onto an orc. And that directly to the side of it. It's going to be a B-site take. Completely deserted though. NIP wants to go for the fast retake. And ZTR finding a nice little frag does put them at the numbers advantage. But they're expecting the bomb plant to come through. They want to overwhelm them fast before the setup comes out. But I think that's a little bit too late. Havu got most of their players set up already. But NIP three different angles for where they want to push through maybe four if they decide to come up from main but look at the aggression from x7 oh blopsky's able to pop him out saves his teammate's life slowly pushes through res with a frag two plays remaining now from harvey one by one they will fall jemmy finds one but it's not going to be enough lovely retake there from nip getting themselves a seventh getting themselves a pistol and that will catapult them nip have been controlling the game completely we're not out of time, they won't be able to do too much. MP9 here from Rez, short distance. Ariel is able to shut that one down, so it's a little here. As Harvo throws up the gap between themselves and their opponents. Flash to be thrown. Plopsky finds that one no problem whatsoever. Holding down the line, repeaks fast, but the trade does come through from Jemmy. 2v3. There's Nork. Comes in from behind, does some damage. Not going to be enough though, as Hampus does find the frag. Nork finishes off X7 falling. Is ZTR going to drop the molly as well? As the time being burnt out by the NIP side, and that is going to be every functional chance that they have within this one. Plopsky mollied out, but does find one, and in fact, the tag down to Zori as well, to 35. It's problem after problem, and Harvu, they don't have Ooh. enough time to solve them, as it's ZTR now that has to go huge. You already That's found so one. Low. Needs to push on forward, but oh my god, look at the HP of the remaining three. Not one bullet to each, and no way. Harvu closed it out quite nicely. Attempt to their name now. And NIP are going to be true. Flash does come out. He needs to fall back, but does hold on true for the time being. Draws out. Molly to be thrown. Has to fall back. Commits for it. But Ariel is able to find a frag. And that does allow Harvu to come up ahead in numbers. Coming out from long. Rez, though, holding it down. Oh, no. Draws out the flash. And that means that Rez will get the one player per sight. Pretty much there to greet them on the NIP side. But look at this luring out. Hampus aggresses through. Wins out the trade on that regard. Know that they've got a lineup onto the A site. But there's not much time remaining. Hampus draws out the incendiary. Allowing them to not push any further. Lines them up. Finds one. Trade does come through. Zori's still alive with most of his health. All of his health actually. But the same could be said here from ZTR. Molly this damage to him. 84 HP. But a bullet to the head should do it either way. Can he find it through? Knows exactly where they are. Each player's location is pretty much compromised at this point. Push out and wide! We'll swing there from Zori! But Harvu, they're the ones under pressure. They're the ones that need to chime in on this map. Or else they'll be in big trouble. Like seven going up close and personal. Finding two frags that they do get themselves on the B site. But the ready, the bomb does get planted in. And NIP with the rotations. Beautifully done, and now NIP on the back foot. They have to backpedal, and I can only assume that they'll go for a save with three players. It's a wise decision to run away because they'll. Earn and that is the scariest thought of it all. Extra frag collected. That's gonna be it, though. The only loss that Havu has had this entire round. Otherwise, it would have been from taking it to a third and final Havu. As much as we're sitting here and saying, you know, NIP topping Pro League, doing ever so well. Look, at Rez, oh my god, he gained the information, gathered that knowledge, but could not convert. And that leaves Hampus in an exposed position. He'll be traded out of time to do it in. Not a lot indeed.
34 seconds to be exact, like seven, he goes up a little bit aggressive, finding one frag, NIP, literally nothing they can do, bomb completely exposed to that A site, Plopsky does find one, will be able to gain himself that AK-47, but that is not going to be enough, they know exactly where he is, yeah, it's not going to look good, of course you have the more expensive M4s, you have the more expensive incendiaries, and you also need to account for the diffuse kits, which is something that they will trickle in sooner or later, a little bit of a setup there from ZTR and Plopsky, lined up, nice little slide, up there from Popsky, he's able to find one and plum patrol now here from ZTR not going to do too much as Jammy's able to chuck onto the B site may allow them to cross towards A of course they don't know what kind of rotations NIP have been playing with Pete coming through slowly wins that trade out onto Nork won't be able to aggress through this but it looks like the A site will be the choice of attack peeking through attempt for Slowly to win out on that trade there Bahavu is going to be the A site, and the only player holding it down is Rez, and he has to be huge if he wants to keep NIP in this game. Oh my god, it's so close. They're squeezing out towards long Rez. It's all about timing. Lines up the first. Needs to find a second denied by Ariel. A big opportunity is the window's flung open. But Hampus here to stay as he finds one more. Zori against two, going to punch in the digits, but it's all too late. NIP find 10. The ref taking their time with a push mostly causing commotion as a push does come through from aerial but rez is the one to win that one out they need to be fast they need to be proactive but they're looking for a pick which may not come their way the fact that nip are playing this slow playing this collectively they may not be able to find the frag but they do but they need to be fast 20 seconds remaining hold holding it down the spray down comes through from zore north there from truck only finds one as x7 finds a trade through but where is the bomb plot they need to find it soon enough Eight, seven seconds remaining. Plopsky from behind. Bomb won't get planted. It needs to be out in the open. X7 once more. Rounds out of time. NIP win that one out. What is this? Harvu. You Here's the movement. Here's the steps. Up close. UMP needs to connect. It does exactly that. And he'll continue to swing. He did spy out a second. And he'll relay that information back across. Ariel going to get caught out. But it's Jemmy on the site that finds one. Hampus' response at large in a second. In fact, a third. Down to a two versus two. ZTR still lurking around, though. The bomb yet to be planted. And he knows this. It's a position in which it needs to find a kill. Will he expect the man up close? No! Slowly to yeah. tap him down. Rez now against two. It's crumbling for NIP. It's not looking great, that's for sure. 2v1, but this time plenty of time for Harvu, unlike the last two rounds. But the spray down is true for the MPI for the first one, but slowly doubles chance to get themselves to the semi-finals for a chance to get their say in if they're going to become the champions. Problem going down. A execute. Rez needs to be careful of Connector, and he's caught out by X7. The flank gone, and now the A bomb site that's overhauled. It. it is over, I do believe. And unless if a three versus five can come out. It will be Harvu taking up. Not going to get let go that easily, though. With the Deagles, they'll try and look for that miracle. Try and find those kills. Sorry, though. He's got the right lineup down. Two kills easily done. That's it. Nork. There's no way he comes back from this one. Hard point, obviously. Oh, uh, well, why am I talking about over overpass? It's Nuke. Yeah, but still, 77.8% win rate. Already a kill coming out from Nork. Uh, Nork. Coming through. Rez as well. Finding one frag, heading onto the A side is exactly what they're looking for. Two players left. One by one, they're getting shut down. Zori finally fires a punch back, finishing blow onto the head of Nork. Down to two the four hampers coming in from behind, pincering them in. Nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. Zori gets shut down as well. Slowly joins the same fate as his fallen teammates. But uh, why not? It was a good play there from Nork, so you might as well see it again. Rez, though, finding a nice little frag as they're pushing in, lurking in. Rez finds the follow-up. No knee frag coming in from Harvu. Nothing they can do as Rez tries to reposition, falling up in a little backwards angle. ZTR chimes in with his MP9. Though Jemmy and Zore finally getting themselves some frags. Shut down, though, with a headshot sometimes. But they are going to chime in from a long smokes coming out, and Cinderay will not allow them to push through too aggressively. Ariel finding the first by Harvu finally finding the opener and that may be the chance that they require to get themselves right back into the game with that first map earlier NIP were able to get themselves ahead but Harvu with the equalizer later on get themselves on the decider map which is nuke the winner of this does take it to the semi-finals knocking the other team out of this tournament out of the pinnacle cup sorry nice little frag from him on to Harvu have got plenty of time to plant and so eventually NIP will concede their first, but again, promising start from NIP. 
with a win. With bomb exploding. Nuclear plant goes up into the air. The fact that they're not really exposed to the explosion and doesn't blow up the entire world of Counter-Strike is, uh, is pretty weird. But X7, he's able to find that quick first frag. And uh, I'm ticking away. It seems to be now's the time that they want to pull the trigger. Now's the time they want to try and take some more control. While Slowey's caught on ZTR, Plopsky gone unchecked. Two to his name already. He's going to drop down as well. Might even be able to find a third for his troubles, but no. Nor can Rez, though, on the back burners, though. In this round, flash drawn out as X7 goes up aggressively through the vents, but no. Denied access there for Hampus. You have no pass. You shall not pass. Gandalfs all over him. But uh, yeah, at this point, NIP, it's their time to actually find the numbers of bombs. There's Jemmy! Hello! Goodbye. He's able to shut down Hampus. AWP at hand. Some fairly long distances that he could cover. But if he gets overwhelmed from multiple angles, he won't be able to do too much. Rez winning a backup. Knowing that he's waiting for his reinforcement of his teammates is really important. Oh, shot does come through. But Ariel wins out on that trade, barely scathing out with his life. But it's a 3v3 on the retake try to push forward if they want to find themselves on this site but they've taken this engagement way too late i feel like azori's catching off ztr it's over nip waited for way too long to try and find these kills and that ultimately means that they concede themselves a second but being 5-2 it shouldn't be all too much of a problem bomb detonates yet again nuke left unscathed but the hp bars the lower site a little more fortified and Harvu could play a game of mind Ooh. games. Nork though, beautiful first shot. Plopsky, big damage as well. It's the second kill converted and the HP depleted on Zori. Ariel, excuse me, to follow suit as Hampus falls. It's a three versus three. And NYP once again conceding the lower site. Unfortified it seems to be. And as the bomb goes down, well and truly, I'm surprised at how well Harvey's dealing with NIP on Nuke. Yeah, they're not, being too, they're not doing too bad. But on the CT side, you'd expect to have some sort of level of consistency. Rez now. Nice little shot, though. Zori and Jeremy now, the two remaining survivors of the Harvest side, repositioning on ramp as well. But he's making quite a lot of noise with that one. Zori from the back of the site. He's able to find one. But now position now compromised. Jeremy gets shut down. All up to Zori in a 1v2. Takes the first shot. Doesn't able to connect. And Rez will be able to shut him down. Just like that. Diffuse coming through. Kit at hand. And NIP will be able to succeed in winning this one out. They are going to ease in closely, though. Oh, Hamper sticking around, though. He's able to find one. Not going to be able to translate that into second as Zori does. He needs to defend this all by himself. Nork joining in as well. From up top, ZTR falls down. Tries to deal with this. Completely flashed down. Rez is good for two. All of a sudden, Blobski is able to find one more. Everything that Havu tried in pushing. So you see, hopefully soon, the kill count through the roof. The flash is on over 16 this man's got. And that's already... Taken into consideration the kill he just gained onto Slowey. The damage done as well towards Ramp. I'm interested to see and hopefully we can get some knowledge on what his ADL is looking like. Because holy, this guy is just on another level right now. As Harvu are able to slap in those digits. And so NIP can see the plant. But Rez on a tear as he takes his tally one more up. X7 alone against 5. And while well, he might be good for Nork. And even then Nork delivering a beautiful headshot. A double kill for both Plopsky and Rez, nor to solidify NIP's eight. Halftime guaranteed to be in the Swedes' favor, but now it's all about conviction. Two, well, you can't have two little tournaments under your belt. Pinnacle Cup is one of them that they'll want to get oh. under their way. ZTR Hampus wow. with a lineup finds two. Simple round from NIP. It just seemed like Havu had nothing this round, but they had rifles, they had AK-47s, they still do, but they look like they're non-existent in this game. Shutting down one player at a time, Ariel's the only player surviving, but that's not going to be for long, as Rez finds that. Tremendous stuff. Oh, Jeremy, he can hear the footsteps. Plopsky right out in the open as the smoke has deteriorated. Nork, though, does find a fact. And on that one minute mark, Havu, they struggle on the T side getting the time right early on oh. overpass but it looks like they're even struggling before getting to the site here on yuke one shot found there beautiful one in fact and that just puts harvu further back in this game this is unreal hampus already won to his name looking for more res on the flip side of the smoke catches out yami 
and it leaves them now into a two versus four. However, we've already made their way towards the lower site, so a promising beginning, quite possibly, with 30 seconds to go, a smoke deployed on the cross. Hampus looking to try and spam on through. The bomb is being planted. Hampus, oh my word, Hampus turned Polk Champus over an overpass but it just feels that being outlasted here by nip it looks like they're just on that tired mac mark third map getting to that tired stages but trades are going crazy on outside but it's nip to win things through from the get-go plopski finding one last one harvey not able res once again pushing on forward trying to find a first jemmy oh my god a crow out of the sky, the evil just picking up kills. ZTR drops on down, it's nearly a suicide. Fortunately, Harry was going to pick him up before the embarrassment strikes for NIP. The bomb goes down, and chances created once more. A five versus three. Harvu given a chance. Hampus does find the first, and this is where it becomes spicy. It could be a second to his name as well. A player up close, X7, going to drop him, however. And so Plopski and Nork against four. That flashbang not working out. And so we'll see a 12-3 half. But NYP still a very respectable score to put up. Very respectable. To stop Harvu from even reaching a solid scoreline. And rightly so. I mean, this team is strong. Slowy has just put a silence to that right now. At least temporary kill found hampus getting dinked and slowly to find a second all of a sudden it becomes problematic for nip as they're reduced down to just three 20 seconds with the additional minute left remaining jemmy now has to hold true towards a and while he's tapped down one needs to find more he does exactly that plopski against five and he will not see people know how to get those headshots as they start peeking through it could be really deadly if he does find that angle and it looks like they will peek through but rez is the one to find the headshot instead and i peek finding the winner blow at the start of this round getting that numbers advantage as hampus may want to aggress now through a site rez finding that kill ztr chiming in from outside but jemmy and slowly shutting down the crisis bomb now planted rez nyp now only three away I mean, Arvu, they did so well on the second map of Overpass. With the pushing coming through from Hampus, it looks like it may be the A-site take after all. <gasps> oh no, it's not. The lower peak ZTR, good for one, but slow, he's lining up heads. Beautifully done, Arvu. No problems at all for them within this one. Jemmy taking down Hampus, leaving Rez against four and with 13 seconds to go he has to run he has to hide and he runs into the molotov swings open the doors he's gonna try and go for the plant he does find the first but no in too little time he does stick it but actually instead of dying i thought just maybe he would have tried to switch i do believe could be a good thing for them slow he's gonna drop the smoke and bound res caught with a grenade out and jemmy finds himself too zetiar looking to oppress bomb dropped out on site Yavu giving up because it's a seventh now and it continues to show its value, its worth. And while Nork is good for one, up above in the air, I said, allowing them to getting all this confidence because NIP, they may have trouble closing out this map. Is in converting. Zori, oh my god, does he know? <gasps> Rez, oh no, he's countered by X7 and Zori's found another. So the man advantage quickly turns into nothing but problems as Zori tears us running high because nip now only up by five and while that is a large prospect to hold it's soon to become four and should they lose with four people down towards secret x7 can even see oh we can that is sick a pixel peak deploys the smoke perez the man's got himself a quick kill the outside peak campus could catch the flank as well and if he does it's gonna cement in quite an easy job for him i'm gonna be looking anywhere other than this a site because jemmy Towards lobby now, he needs to go huge. And while he's been caught out by Nork, Ariel found another. So we are back level, and the bomb finally set in place. Oh, and I feel a little bit of a danger. ZTR lined up for him, but he's only getting one. Jemmy now with two. Bomb has been planted, but quite soon enough, Hampus is left in a 1v2. Spray down onto Zori. He's able to shut him down, but now position compromise here. Jemmy now with 40 points of health on him. He needs to find that AK 47 he has from the back of sight. One bullet required, Hampus! Finds the kill on the end. Time to turn up. Hampus is always ready in pole position to go. Rez pushing on forward. Jemmy to catch it out. Basic suicide in that sense. But Hampus is quick trade. And Jemmy's Molotov has left it down to a two versus four. Zori catching off ZTR from behind. 
could be indeed Havu now on the verge of getting themselves to double digits. Drawing in IP with that, but Zori stars on his flipping between their fingers. But this is their time to show up. Zori up close, that Molotov flushing him out. No one's there for the trade. Finally, Plopsky in to save the day. Ariel, though, on the flip side, this could be big, but Rez catching him out completely. Beautifully done. And now into a four versus three. A big opportunity is the window open wide for an IP to take 15. And they definitely have a chance with this one. Going onto the B side is what they're going for. But Hampus is still lurking on from behind. Slow, he's able to find that one frag. The next seven will try and reposition now onto the B site. Try and hold them down as the doors do open up wide. Rez peeks out, finds a frag on the X7 down to 2v3. NIP still with the favoring numbers on getting that bomb plant down. Jemmy pushing up aggressively, spotted out, not really waiting for reinforcements, not waiting for the refrag from... Not allowing him to, uh, to eco, but NIP themselves not doing too well on their economy. We'll try and save out, but it is much points now from NIP. And this... Outside, try as well. No smokes to cover their tracks. Story down with the AWP could shoot them down one by one. Aerial finds that first frag, beautifully done. But can they find the refrags already trickling onto the A site? Jemmy's down though. Aerial still chimes in, still finds damage. Harvu, they're still in this. They still can do it. Aerial already with three. Zore chimes in once more. He will oh. try for it. Bomb at hand. And look at that. You can hear footsteps, movements, but no, no. Knocks up the gap little by little, and they're so close to NIP, they can just smell them. But sorry. Oh, peeks out. Hampus does get caught out. But Ariel goes for a little bit of a spray outside. This guy's been such a big difference maker for Harvu. The past few times, it looks like he will be once more. The spray down from Ariel. Absolutely immaculate. Two players Lao left here from the Harvus from the NIP side as Zore shots. Happen. I think Plopsky needs to give up the gun. Because if he doesn't, then still he won't have the money to drop Pampers. And in turn, meaning the table looking to slam down the gauntlet. And the next 1 minute and 55 decides if we're seeing more of Nuke. And oh. Zori most certainly... And IP stick around. Still Util in their bag to come through. Hampers lead the charge now. Come Ooh. out. He's able to find that one frag. Maybe that's going to be enough. Coming into the vents, though. Taking Ooh. it all the way to the B site. That might be huge. X7, though, needs to be huge oh. here. Auto Sniper coming out. Finding one kill. Sprays down through the smoke. Potentially to find the second. But no. Nork now finds one from outside. He's trying to make that Auto Sniper work, but not quite in time. Smoke is just huge. It's amazing. Bomb is planted now. And NIP could still win this out if it's played correctly. X7 closing up the gap between himself and his opponents. Nort coming out from control room. Is it going to be fast enough? Ariel finding one. CTR returning soon. Jemmy as well. Down to 1v2. Spray down from Ariel. Harvu. They've done it over time now on the board. On the final map of the series. The one to decide who gets to go to the semifinals. But now on the T side, NIP pushing through here on overtime, trying to get themselves on right straight onto the board. Rez aggressing forward. He's able to find more. And Hampus as well from outside works out. But Ariel, he's able to punish right on through. Peek out from outside as well from heaven. Isn't quite able to solidify that kill either. X7, though, he's able to find one as the bomb does get planted. But NIP with a favorable numbers heading into this on the defensive now that they do have the bomb planted. Post-spawn scenario definitely favoring the NIP side as Harvu find themselves in a very rough spot. They're going to go for it, though, over time. They cannot afford to not to go for it. And Rez finding that one makes it that much more harder here for X7. HE going to throw now. It's as if they know exactly where he's coming from, and they do. Rez find... Over time, number one win. But every chance, oh. every opportunity, and Jemmy might be the man to find the first, but Hampus caught from behind as X7 strikes towards lobby. Four players towards outside are the only form of control that NIP have and so the explosion towards the lower site needs to be with pace otherwise Harvey will catch them off guard oh they will indeed Jemmy can hear all the commotion though Rez will be through is it going to be go for the white swing Rez is able to catch him off guard and all, all five players collectively going Ariel he knows of this oh fakes up the ladder push but no one is there to really hear that out x7 finds one Rez is able to shut him down down to a three versus three they are going for the A site. Zori holding it down. He's able to find the frag. HG going to need to be thrown. Will do quite a bit of damage. Does do damage onto Nork. Peeks out again from the other side. Ariel joins in from above. That's going to be that. Havu with the equalizer. 16 to. No early frags, though. No early commotion. Just some spray doom. Oh, okay. Slowly finds that one out of nowhere.
the true front push here onto the A site as they start to trickle in, but they know they're going to drop down to the vents. Oh. Zork is able to find one as they dark off guard. Jemmy does find the refract, but X7 here, he's able to hold it down. ZTR finding one, X7 still alive here from Ramp. He's able to find one, nearly the second onto ZTR, running out of time, getting the bomb plant under the smoke. In a 1v3, Plotsky can't really do much. Overwhelmed from the Harbu defense lines. The bomb did get planted, but it's not going to matter. 17 to 16 to be the scoreline on the end of the first half of overtime. And Harvu taking 17 might just be a ticket guarantee. They'd be knocking out NIP. Oh, Nork. Oh, barely visible. Oh, Pete coming through. Ooh. He wins that one out finally. And now the trade does go through in NIP's favor. So many times they converged a first kill into a round win. Can they do it once more here? The CT side was the strongest at the start of this game. With 50 seconds remaining, Hampus though, lining it up. Ariel able to shut that one down. Not going to be easy to hold this. He needs to go huge. And he's in an angle. I don't think Harvu will actively check. Oh. No, not even good for one. And the bomb goes down. NIP, a three versus four. Harvu proving this is it. Jemmy oh, from behind. No this is unreal. This man no position one, nearly a second denied, but X7's there for the response. And while Norks found himself another, it means nothing. Three, it doesn't matter if it turns four with this kill. They have no time. Map an aggressive push here from Hampus, looking to catch his opponents off guards. Rez. But what Hampus can do from that position would be priceless to the game. Flash coming out, was able to line one up, goes for the refract, spray down, but it is a one for one straight forward to lose another round. And right now, Harvu are trying to put up exactly that. Zori's response, and Ariel with another from a four versus three to a two versus two as ZTR levels out the figures. X7 will plant the bomb. Do or die moment for him. It's full HP, but that quickly demolished by the use of a grenade. A first oh. kill could be found. Nork oh. HP. Ariel with one. Nork against two. Has found the first. No kit. Rather, a kit, but no smoke. As he taps the bomb, he has to stick it. He no has way. to stick it. Is he going to pull this one off? Oh. No, he is not. Harvu 